I want to add an uh, application server so I can actually have it running as um, for easy security to run the job schedule for some of the tasks that can be done by that one. So the first thing to do is to go to my NAV installation CD and actually install the application server and it's better if you already have something installed to actually run the MSI programs in the folders uh, than running the graphical interface. In some cases it's uh, a little interesting if it decides to remove everything for example. And I would just go in and do a typical install and run uh, that one. It only takes a few seconds here to actually install that um, classic application server in here. So it finished that one and if I now go look at my services I will actually see um, oops, services um, and you, a couple of new services in here that are for the application uh, server. I both have one for the classic or native database and one for the SQL database and they're currently not started. That's currently uh, using a user that don't have access to NAV and so on. So I need to do a few uh, things in here. First thing would be to actually add a user and I'll go into my um, classic client and I'll go in and add uh, a Windows login and I'll add one down here that is just called NAS that I already created uh, ahead of time and I'll just give it super user rights but it's possible with easy security to actually record the permission that exactly are needed uh, for that NAS actually. If you're going to use it for publishing you will of course need to give it super user rights to be able to give all permissions away. So I added that user and I'll go here and actually um, synchronize uh, that user into the database also. So uh, I added the user and I can go at my service here and actually change it. I, first of all I'm not going to use a native database so I can actually go in here and set that one for manual. That means it won't try startup and you won't see any uh, comments in the event log that it failed. Next thing is I'm going to go into properties here and instead of using network service I'm going to type in my NAS, I'm going to type in the password It's very important to have a password. If you don't have a password, it won't log into a database uh, and it gives kind of strange errors with no password in there. So when I click OK, the NAS has been grounded, the logon as a service, and it's now set up. I still need to do some configuration because right now we don't know which database to connect to or which server or anything. The best way to do that one is actually to copy the information from the classic client. So if I go in here I can see I have my server name, my database name uh, and think that that one and I have my company name in here. You could run the NAS administration um, but a better way I think is actually to go to a registry and edit it directly where the information exists. So if you go down to local machine, system, current control set, services, and you find the one starting with E down here, you can see these ones are exactly the two services in here. So the first thing to do is set the company name and I'll say file company open and copy that information. And this happens to be the same so it's not that much different. Next thing is the database and I'll go to NAV and I have my database name here. I'll copy that one again display name is fine, error, net type is fine. Object cache is currently set to 8000 uh, and that's way too little if you're doing any transaction against the database. So I'll increase it to 64 megabytes in here and click OK. The server name, I need to set that one and that's up here. I want to copy that value and the server type the starts and the startup parameter. I want to use a job queue here so I'm actually going to put in a job queue uh, as a startup type and this one is case sensitive so uh, always put it in uh, uppercase in here. It matches the functions in code unit 1 where you would be able to see how it actually works in here. 
So um, that should be all. I changed my company. I changed my database. Uh, net type is TCP. That is fine. I changed my object cache, server name, and I changed my startup parameter. So I should be able to now go to my services and actually start this one in here. So if I start this one, I can see the NAS is started and one of the way of verifying it actually works is there is a, a session table. So if I go here and say I want to do a new form, and I want to create uh, it with the wizard, I'll just uh, run that one. And I can see in here I have a lot of session against the SQL Server. Most of them are internal SQL operations. But down here I can see the user NAS, it's running against the demo database with the application server for Microsoft and you can see that it's connected in here. So it all works uh, fine and the application server has been set up in here.